experience a bloody battlefield, while art reminds us of the beauty, the nature, or the good. Here, the two words are mingled in a single term. Martial arts to include much cultural insight. And martial arts have many graceful movements. It can help people stay fit and healthy. So it is very popular in China. And it has captivated more and more people in the world. The origin of martial arts can be traced back to the prehistoric times when our ancestors used stones and wooden clubs in hunting, both for subsistence and self-defense. In tribal strifes, they used their tools as weapons. And later, during the Shang and the Zhou dynasties, with the development of bronze casting, the variety of weapons increased and their quality improved. And later, martial arts came under the influence of Buddhism and Taoism. Ge Hong is a Taoist and a physician in the Eastern Ji dynasty. He integrated martial arts with qigong, the breathing exercise, and put forward the theory of external and internal work, which is still widely accepted today. And in the court examination system originated in the Sui dynasty, which required both the scholars and the military men to practice martial arts. So now we know that China has a long history of martial tradition. Over the past 2,000 years, hundreds of distinctive styles of martial arts have been developed, which are often classified into schools or sects or families. So Chinese martial arts can be categorized into northern and southern styles, separated by the Yangtze River. There are about 100 schools in the Yellow River Valley in the north, and about 80 schools in the Yangtze River Valley in the south. And the Chinese martial arts can also be split into external and internal work. The external training includes hands, eyes, the physical body, and stances, figures, etc. While the internal training includes the heart, the internal organs, spirit, mind, breathing, and strength. So there are various schools and styles. To name just a few, say Changquan or Lang Boxing, and Shadow Boxing, and Xin Yi Quan, imitating animal movements, and Nan Quan, the Southern Boxing, Shaolin Boxing, and Mantis Boxing, and the Drunkard Boxing.
of you are practicing Xi Yi Chen in Zara. So the Xi Yi Chen is associated with the theory of five elements. And there are five basic movements known as cleaving, straining, scraping, and drilling and crossing. And the Nanchen is widespread in China's southern areas, so southern boxing. The practitioners utter shouts and cries now and then to make their movements more forceful. And Shaolin Chen or Shaolin boxing is popular in the north. It is known for its short routine movements and sweetness and vigor, so very swift and vigorous. You know the Songshan Mountain, the Shaolin Temple, the Shaolin Temple enjoys great popularity, great reputation for its distinctive martial style. And the, the Shaolin Temple is located in Songshan Mountain in Henan province. It is said that Bodhidharma, the Buddhist master from India, came into the Shaolin Temple in the 6th century from India. And he meditated by facing a wall for 9 years and created the Zen sect. The meditation, the Zen sect. And the Zen sect is the most influential Buddhist sect of China. It had great influence on Chinese culture. And Shaolin Temple is famous for its one finger Zen, which is considered the secret of Shaolin Temple. And the one finger Zen requires that one should concentrate Short weapon, 
infection control of Bruce Lee. And the three section controls here, you can see the nine section whip. So we have flexible weapons, long weapons, and the short weapons. And the Chinese martial arts is more than Kung Fu. It embodies a profound philosophy reflected in martial ethics. And martial ethics advocates respect for human life. In ancient China, human being is regarded as one of the four greats, together with the heaven, the earth, and the truth. The truth is the law of the universe. So human beings are very precious. And the martial ethics requires that a person exercise self-restraint, never abusing his abilities to seek personal gratification or to oppress those weaker than himself. And he should seek to uphold justice, remain fearless in the face of brutality, and cultivate modesty and spirit of cooperation. So we have martial arts, martial ethics, and we also have martial artistry. Here, the virtues fall into two types. In terms of deed, we have such virtues as humility, sincerity, politeness, loyalty, and trust. With regard to mind, we have the virtues such as the courage, patience, endurance, perseverance, and will. Now, besides martial ethics and martial arts, we have martial artistry. So martial arts has long associated with dance. And it emphasizes the posture, the composure, and self-control, spirit, and a lively exercise. And the martial arts also has a beautifying effect on the physique, and also a positive effect on the character. These qualities turn martial arts into martial artistry. So we have got martial arts, martial ethics, and martial artistry. Now, there are a lot of notable practitioners, and the most famous should be Bruce Lee. You will immediately think of Bruce Lee, Li Xiaolong. He was one of the most famous Kung Fu film stars in the whole world. His dazzling performance of the three-section cudgel left a deep impression on the audience. And in movies, Bruce Lee always acted as a hero and then defeated the bad guys with his Chinese Kung Fu. And his Chinese Kung Fu is rooted in the Chinese tradition and philosophy and culture. And it was also Bruce Lee who put the word Kung Fu into the English dictionary. And other notable practitioners like Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Have you watched the Kung Fu films of Jackie Chan and Jet Li? Yeah, of course. The Legend of the Drunken Masters. So many producers have made films or TV series about Chinese martial arts. So here I'd like to recommend the 10 most famous Kung Fu movies in China. The Smiling Proud Wanderer. The Moon Warriors. Swordsman. New Loman Yi, Huang Fei Ho, Eastern Evil and Western Poison, The Blade, Wind and Cloud, Crouching Tide and the Hidden Dragon.
Maybe you have watched this film. Okay. And a hero. Now shall we move on to Tai Chi? Drawing the elegant circles of life. Tai Chi. The Chinese martial art. Here you can see the diagram of Tai Chi. So Tai Chi is based on the theory of negative and a positive, or we say the yin yang theory. It is the origin of Tai Chi and the source of everything in the universe. So here you can see the outer circle represents the whole universe, everything in the universe. And we can see two fish. The white fish is the positive. Here, it is usually depicted as, say, rising on the left. And the black fish is the negative. Generally depicted as descending on the left. And you can see the dots, the small dots of a different color symbolizing the mutual transformation of yin and yang. So they perpetually becoming and fading away, expanding and contracting. So the yin and yang are the two polar opposites into which all elements, all things can be classified. Thus, Male and female, life and death, strong and weak, good and evil, light and dark, can all be the manifestations of yin and yang. And have you found that there are no straight lines here, all curves? So practicing Tai Chi is just like drawing again and again. So drawing the elegant circles again and again. The heaven and the earth have energy circulating around them, while inside the human body circulates the vitality of life. So Tai Chi draws the elegant circles of life by moving, jumping, dodging or unfolding so as to turn the exterior circle of life into the interior circles of life, thus improving the health. So, Tai Chi is a kind of martial art, as this kind of martial art can help people keep fit and healthy, so it quickly developed into the physical exercise, very popular. And it is not limited to the external movement. It emphasizes the full display of internal temperament, the potential of human being, and the mental attitude. It not only strengthens the bones and muscles, but also strengthens the internal organs and intelligence. So it can adjust the neural, respiratory, digestive, coronary, brain, and circulatory systems of the human body. And the Tai Chi also falls into different types. The most popular is the fist, the bare-handed boxing. And there are also the wielding of weapons. For example, the sword play and the broad sword. And also there's the fan, dancing with fans and push hand, the combat. So here we can see the collective performance of the bare-handed boxing. And here you can see the push hand, defensive and offensive, very unique and special. And here women practice Tai 
about the Tai Chi sword with me. So here you can see it consists of five parts. We have got the scabbard, the sheath, and the blade. Here the blade, the hand guard, the handle, and the tassel. Okay, let's can have a look. Now about the origin of Tai Chi. The legend goes that Zhang Sanfeng, here you can see the statue of Zhang Sanfeng, of the Wudang, Mang Tu Wudang, of the Song Dynasty, created Tai Chi after he had witnessed a fight between a snake and a sparrow. The sparrow could not catch the snake because the snake always moves in circles, always moves in curves. But this is just a legend. There is no evidence in historical records. However, the Wu Dang style Tai Chi is widespread in China, especially the Wu Dang Salt. I also enjoy practicing the Wu Dang Salt. So Tai Chi falls into five traditional styles. There are five traditional styles named after the family from which it originated. Here, arranged in terms of seniority, you can see the sequence in chronological order. The Chen style, Yang style, Wu style, Wu style, and Sun style in terms of seniority. Most people believed that Tai Chi originated from Chen Jiagou village in Henan province 400 years ago and developed by Chen Wang Ti. Here you can see the statue of Chen Wang Ti, the Chen style. However, the Chen style ranks the second in terms of popularity. It is relatively forceful and the most popular and the most widely spread the widely practiced style in the world today is Yang style, developed by Yang Lucan. Most people practice the Yang style Tai Chi. Me too. And Wu style, Wu family style, developed by Wu Yuxiang, ranks the fifth in terms of popularity. The third term. Now, Wu style, Wu family style, the second term, developed by Wu Jianquan, ranking the third in terms of popularity. The Wu family style features short routine movements, so very short. And the Sun family style, developed by Sun Lu Tang, ranking the fourth in terms of popularity. Okay, now I'd like to practice the basic postures uh, and uh, <laughs> basic postures together with you. And I'd like two volunteers to come to the front and practice together with me. Okay, two volunteers. And uh, you can practice ju just by yourself. Okay.
Now first, palm. So here. You can practice it for yourself. The palm. Okay, just relax. Yes, relax so that the qi, the inner airflow, can circulate into the palm and the fingers. So the palm. And next, fist. Here, neither too tight nor too loose. The punch, the fist. Have you noticed that during the traditional festivals, such as the spring festival, the Chinese people will salute with hands folded, with hands clasped, like this. So it is the ancient etiquette with profound cultural insight. For example, the right hand is a fist, the punch, symbolizing the force, the martial arts, the bravery. And the left hand is a palm. And the petition, the thumb is bending, indicating that I will always be humble and modest. I will never try to be number one. And the four fingers symbolizing wisdom, beauty, artistry, and morality and ethics, respectively. So the Left palm holding the right fist, indicating that we should control the martial arts with martial ethics and a martial artistry. So, like this the traditional etiquette. And the, the third handful is hook, like this. Next, void or empty space. So this is void or empty space. And and a crouching space. Crouching space, for example. Yes. 
several tips. Oh, how to please? I want the tears. Okay, please come to the front. Just now we have got two volunteers. Okay, and just try. So, shall we pose the horse riding stance? The horse riding stance, like this. And try to experience, try to feel, erecting head and relaxing neck. Erecting head and relaxing neck. And the next, lowering shoulders and elbow. So sink. Sink is very important. And next, as to the chest, contracting chest and lengthening back. Like this. And the next, relaxing waist. Relaxing waist. Restraining hip. Separating thighs and bending knees. So remember two words. One is relax. And the most important is sink. So what do you feel? Are you sitting or are you standing? Sitting. Oh, sitting. <laughs> you are standing, but try to find the feeling of sitting. Okay. Now here we have known the head form, the stance, and the figure. Okay. Besides these basic postures, a practitioner should also regulate the three aspects. So regulate first the physical body, and regulate the breathing and the mind to achieve harmony in body and evenness in breathing and calmness in mind. So the three aspects. Now shall we begin with harmony in body? In terms of harmony in body, we have also got some tips. Harmonizing between upper and lower body. For example, harmonize between the upper and the lower body. Rooting with the feet, leading with waist, and moving with fingers. And a clarifying void and solidness. Okay, void and solidness. Movements. So while making outward movements, 
out through the mouth. So exhale it while say inhale the fresh air in. Inhale the fresh air through the nose while making inward movements. This is difficult okay, to exhale through the mouth and inhale through the nose. At the beginning, we can just breathe naturally. And this is also the reason why people prefer to practice in the early morning better in the forest with fresh air. And also, the calmness in mind. The calmness in mind. There are also some tips. Storing vitality in a public area below the navel. Okay? Like this, remember? Store the vitality. You know the navel. So the public area below the navel. And be natural, relaxed, and quiet. Say natural and relaxed and quiet. <coughs> Remember the two words. Relax and the most important is which word? Sick. Yes, sink. Sink. Sink and relax. Sink is the most important word. So Tai Chi is just like a moving yoga. It is a moving yoga. And using notion rather than strings. Using a notion. So there's the same. The mind directs the circulation of Qi. Qi is the airflow. And the of air generates the outer strings. So the softness is stronger than hardness. We can defeat the strong with the soft. And the yielding is more efficient than confronting. So there are a lot of dialectical ideas here. Okay, now uh, I'd like to try the 24 posture simplified Tai Chi and afterwards we can practice together outside in the hall. Okay, now beginning from the first posture. The first posture, okay, just volunteer. We can practice together. Is there a volunteer? Okay. Yeah. Beginning from uh, the starting posture. Holding loot. Rolling back forearm on both sides.
grasping bird's tail on the left side. on both sides. Needle at C bottom. Flashing arms. Thank you.